Alrighty guys, so I'm kind of late in the game when it comes to this sort of controversy about it. I thought I would, I would, I would kind of talk about this. Now normally I wouldn't talk about stuff like this or like little news bits like this. I, I think the, the only real thing of gaming news I really kind of have really talked about was like about the Xbox One when it, when it, when it was first kind of being announced. And then back at the time it was kind of being announced as the Xbox 720, so... That's like a long, long time ago. I, that's the only thing I can really remember. I think there was a few other things. I think it was about Jake Paul, Logan Paul. But either way, this one, it, it, it got to me really bad. This whole Hogwarts legacy flipping drama bullshit, whatever you want to call it. I, I mean, I know it's kind of been talked to death by a lot of YouTubers and stuff probably. But I thought I'd give my kind of two bits if you will about this whole situation or the, or what it, or what happened uh I, I think it's pretty much a died down at this point and stuff but i i still think it should be talked about so like like a lot of people i will say this i i'm not against people protesting or really anything but the thing is is that like the thing i will be I will, what i'm against is bullying people and harassing people over playing a video game. Okay, like, no, look, I don't know what exactly what J uh, J.K. Rowling said, like, like comment-wise or whatever. I, I I haven't really read into it. I I think of a few of my friends that are part of the LGBTQ community, like, I know they, they looked into it and they were kind of like, it. You know, the comments she said were outright outlandish. You know, they just didn't agree with them. And that was it. Do do I say or do they say that like she deserves or her fans deserve to be bullied for playing this game? No, no. There's nothing really wrong with the game. After all, the game has a trans character and a bunch of gay characters in it. So like, the thing I don't understand is like, why is it that these people from the woke, I guess left, if you want to call it are just bullying people over playing this game like on twitch like cyber bullying people like all it did was it just backfired and now a lot of people are playing this game enjoying this game even people that are like fans of the series are playing this game like all it has done is just generated sales and quite frankly as of now sort of i'm actually thinking of planning to try to See if I can buy or get this game. Because it does look actually like a cool looking game. I mean granted it has problems apparently on PC and stuff. And, and also on console where like if you if you go anywhere near the Hogwarts school or the area or whatnot. It just, oh, excuse me, it just lags out a little bit. But other than that I've heard from people that it's actually not a bad game. So... Hell, even my Australian buddy Broads played the game and he actually really really enjoyed it and stuff. But it's just super stupid. You know, that like man, everybody complained about Hogwarts Legacy. Like the here's another thing, and I'm not here to drum up the drums of war or anything right here, but like if you're gonna get mad at that game, you might as well get mad at something like, say, HP Lovecraftian level video games like The Cult of Cthulhu or, you know, I don't know, the one I can kind of remember was like the Call of Duty Zombies and stuff. Like, if you're gonna get mad, like, I, I like, I don't understand it. Like, you, like, people get mad at Hogwarts Legacy, but don't get mad at over HP, HP Lovecraft. Like, he said some crazy shit. Again, granted, he was from a different time zone and stuff, but, like, you know, come on. Like, people's priorities are just really messed up and stuff. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not here advocating to go after any works of H.P. Lovecraft. Just because the guy was a little fucked in the head doesn't mean that, like, he didn't make interesting stories or interesting concepts of creatures from from the unknown and stuff, like, but still, like, man, come on. All this stupid shit over hating people for playing or watching a certain movie or video game. It's gotta stop. Especially something as stupid as getting mad over a game about 
wizardry and stuff. Hogwarts Legacy. Like, come on, man. Like, the only reason why I, I don't really... Like, the only reason for me why I don't like the game is because it deals with magic. That's it. But other than that, like, for hating on it because of the writer of Harry Potter, it... I, come on. Come on, man. There's more things to be worried about. This, this is the other thing that baffles me. There's more things to worry about in the world right now, like World War Three or, you know, politics or something like that. But everybody's all mad at Hogwarts Legacy. It's like, you know, it's really stupid. So, anyways, that's just my kind of take. It's, it's pretty much like probably everybody else's take on this whole scenario. It's just really, really, really flippin' dumb. Uh, and yeah, I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. I hopefully, uh, will try to do my best to make some edited content and videos and stuff. Right now, I, I filmed a very kind of half-assed part, uh, part two, if you will, of me doing a review on, uh, <clears throat> Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. It's more of the spoiler review, even though I kind of already spoiled the, the, the video, the film, in the uh in the in the the first part i guess you can say the spoiler free uh review i like i guess i you know i technically did so that would be coming up on the channel and yeah the only reason why there hasn't been a lot of videos is has been has been quite frankly because i've i've been playing a shit ton of minecraft and stuff so and any rate Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next one here. So, <clears throat> bye-bye for now, everybody.